the last several years, it could come as welcome relief. Chris? Peter, thank you. There was plenty for the Tea Party to be mad about today. More than a thousand Tea Partiers gathered outside the Capitol here in Washington. As a Republican senator said, the IRS is set to pay $70 million in bonuses in defiance of a presidential order. Chief Congressional Correspondent Mike Emanuel tells us now some people want to turn the tables on the tax man. Selected as a date that on the West Lawn of the Capitol, more than a thousand Tea Party supporters and their allies in Congress called for the IRS to be audited after conservative groups seeking tax exempt status received extra scrutiny. As targets of the IRS, it's time for America to reverse it and now target the IRS themselves. And we're going to do it by dismantling the IRS piece by piece. We're going to throw it overboard like a box of British tea. Lois Lerner, the IRS official on paid administrative leave after refusing to resign, also took heat for her role in the targeting. It turns out that the government employee at the IRS who will not testify, who will not help with the hearings, it turns out she's been doing this for decades. Inside the Capitol, Tea Party favorite Senator Ted Cruz pressed the FBI director to get to the bottom of the IRS mess. Do you know if the scope has included whether there was targeting of individuals for political activity by the IRS. Because it is an ongoing investigation, I'm leery about uh, uh, delving into much more about what is happening in the course of the investigation. All I can uh, do is I assure you, and you know me, uh, I will push it wherever it goes. Iowa Republican Senator Chuck Grassley blasted the IRS today for always claiming to be short on money and yet preparing to hand out millions in bonuses. In this letter to Acting Commissioner Daniel Werfel, Grassley wrote, quote, does the the IRS intend to execute an agreement to preserve approximately $70 million for union bonuses during sequestration? If so, please explain why and how that is consistent with OMB guidance. In response, the agency acknowledged the guidance but said, quote, IRS is under a legal obligation to comply with its collective bargaining agreement, which specifies the terms by which awards are paid to bargaining unit employees. Meanwhile, after playing nicely during televised oversight committee hearings, the chairman and top Democrat are having a public spat over IRS employee interview transcripts. Democrat Elijah Cummings defied Chairman Darrell Issa by releasing the interview of John Schaefer, an IRS screening group manager in Cincinnati. Schaefer was asked, do you have any reason to believe that anyone in the White House was involved in the decision to screen Tea Party cases? Schaefer responded, I have no reason to believe that. ISIS says his concern is the release gives IRS employees investigators would like to interview a roadmap of what to say. Schaefer did say Washington was very interested in Tea Party cases, and he did not know of rogue agents in Cincinnati. Chris? Mike Emanuel on Capitol Hill. Mike, thanks for that.